Rio's Rainbow is an organization that was formed days after the death of Rio Allred. Rio was a seventh grader at Elkhart's Northside Middle School. She died by suicide in March of last year. Remember this? Days after Rio Allred died, friends, family, and complete strangers gathered to remember. I think initially after we lost Rio, there was a lot of stories being shared. Rio's death sparked familiar pain for a lot of people. Her family says the 12-year-old had been bullied. And it became pretty evident if you just step back from everything for a second and look at Elkhart or Michiana even as a whole, that we're kind of a broken community right now. It's why Rio's family created Rio's Rainbow. They wanted to stop bullying and spread awareness about suicide. The group raised money, organized events, testified at the state legislature, and helped push for policy changes within the school district. Rio's Rainbow's focus has more shifted towards community building because we all know that if you build a stronger, more resilient, safer, um, happier community, some of these things will come naturally. One of the group's biggest accomplishments is teaming up with Oaklawn to help middle school students through a program called Building Hope Week by Week. We started in the middle schools because of Rio. Like that's where um, we felt, you know, the need was the most. So middle school. So we're talking 12 to 15. Lots of things going on with that age group. Shelly Poindexter is from Oaklawn. She runs the program. Building those connections with their peers and knowing how to deal with hard situations with classmates or with family. Um, you know, those, those are just vitally important skills that we really wanted to reinforce through this group process. Building Hope Week by Week is a mental health program that teaches resiliency and hope. Students learn about relationships, belonging, decision making, confidence, and hope. The goal is to help them tap into their strengths when they face hard situations. You're never going to know, like, did you, you know, if we have, you know, three or four or five suicides in a year, could it have been 10 or 20 or could it have been zero? You know, so the impact of what you're doing isn't always known. The impact of programs like this may be hard to quantify, but mental health advocates say the crisis is happening now. A recent CDC report showed in 2021, nearly one in three U.S. teens seriously considered attempting suicide. And 10% of high school students attempted suicide one or more times. It's always been there. It has always been there. It's yeah. something Lindsey Brander knows well. When I was a teacher of students with emotional disabilities, um, I actually have their obituaries up there, I had two students within 18 months of each other die by suicide. Um, and this was, you know, 2015, 2016. Brander is the assistant superintendent of student services at Elkhart Community Schools. She's been working with Rio's Rainbow and the Parent Coalition to help students and families learn more about bullying policies and parent resources. It's all hands on deck. The mental health crisis in our kids is not going to get any better soon. Um, and it really does, prov it really does require a community-wide effort. Brander says students, especially middle school students, are craving connection and community. Thanks to Rio's Rainbow, Building Hope Week by Week is offering a positive place for some of those students to find they belong. She had a lot of life left to live, and uh, that's, there's a lot, every kid has a lot of life left to live. Beautiful, artistic, and smart, Rio Ulred may be gone but her family hopes that other children like her will find new hope in her name. Even having to deal with something as, as terrible as losing Rio, um, this is what's been born out of it, and, uh, and we'll keep doing it, and we'll keep doing it for our community, but most importantly, we're going to keep doing it for Rio. This year, two Building Hope Week by Week groups were formed at Northside Middle School and one at Pierre Moran Middle School. Rio's family says they hope the program is expanded into more schools next year. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.